said, why to rerun all our memories, right? It's just a matter of time before your cheeks turn into peaches and the stars realign. Another glass of wine, I'll find the diamonds in your eyes, darling. Another glass of wine, you know it's time. Three, two, one. We're kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed, and now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck. Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies, you got me running circles inside of my head. Now we're doing everything that I wish you had said. Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies, like. We're kinda shooting stars on the side of my bed And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies You got me running circles inside of my head Now we're doing everything that I wish you had said Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies like Rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. This quote is by James Clear, author of Atomic Habits. I recently heard this quote through the videos I always watch on YouTube, and I recently stumbled upon one called Setting Systems, Not Goals, which I linked down in the description below. After I watched this video, I realized is this why I'm not reaching my fullest potential? Is it because the monthly goals that I always constantly setting, I only achieve for the month, but I never achieve it the next. So I figured, why not give this a try for July? So my first goal was have a clean, tidy room every day. So instead of trying to achieve the goal, I decided to go with my system of tidying up twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and deep cleaning every single Sunday. My second goal for the month was to keep my closet clean. So instead of this goal, I created a system where, as per usual, I would do my laundry every Sunday, but when I occasionally get my closet messed up or my clothes thrown on the floor, I would organize it every Wednesday. My next goal for July was to work on my summer studies and my passion project. But instead of writing it down like this, the systems and steps that I decided to take for the month was to set these tasks I wanted to do, which included taking notes for certain courses for my next academic school year that I knew were going to be rigorous, and also to work on separate portions of my passion project, which include my YouTube channel, posting consistently on my Instagram account, and also working on my blog post. My fourth goal for this month was to read more. And to be more specific, at least finish three books every week. So what I decided to do was set some time aside every single day to read, or at least every other day, which included my reading time from 6pm to 7pm. 